Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit? This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. The power we have as women is massive. If, if we work together. So let me share with you an experience that's made me remember this. Because see, that's the big thing, right? Cattiness, bitchy, uh, mom shaming, uh, look at her with the fake boobs, the fake lips, the fake lashes, the fake hair, you know, all the judgmental fucking bullshit that happens with women. Like, listen, dudes judge dudes, but women were fucking brutal. And it doesn't need to be that way. So I dropped off my oldest son this morning at a school. I walk him in his classroom, kiss and a hug, have an awesome day, buddy. You see a pickup, love you, walking down the hall. And I live in Victoria, B.C., in Canada. Let's just say Victoria is a, it's it's just kind of a, it's a chill laid back city. It's here on uh, what's called Vancouver Island. So everyone's pretty laid back. Weed is legal in BC. It's all over the place in Victoria. (laughs) That's a piece of it. We, you know, are on the ocean. Uh, It's really nice weather, you know, year round. It doesn't, we don't really get snow and uh, people are pretty laid back. A little bit, a little bit crunchy, if you will. Little little granola ish, and um, and so you know that tends to be kind of the dress and the style. There's still some people a little bit, I would say, a little bit more stylish, not so much kind of sporty the way they dress. A little bit more stylish, a little more put together, but it's kind of few and far between. So as I dropped off Tyson and I'm walking in the hall back to my car, there's a mom. I'm assuming it's a mom, woman, adult woman who's walking in the hall, and she's like very chic, like beautiful like heeled boots and she's very put together and even the way she carries herself is like she's beautiful right she's beautiful beautiful creature and my first thought keeping it real okay my first thought she's walking on the hall just like sashaying and I'm like what the fuck what the fuck she thinks she is and I caught myself I caught myself in the cattiness And I rarely go to that place anymore. I went to that place lots in my 20s. When really, you and I both know that comes out insecurity, right? We'll get into this. Maybe a little bit in my 30s. Not so sure about myself. Not feeling that good about myself. And I caught myself going there today. And I'm literally like three seconds later as I pass down her. And then I go, wait a second. I go wait a second, fucking own it, sister, yes, because as I walked away, and I was like, because it can be very easy for me to look at a woman that's like that, a woman that I used to see, and I was like, oh, you know, I'm like the cute girl, I'm the sporty girl, I was like the spice girl, I'd be like sporty spice, like, I'm not the va-va-voom girl, and then when she walked by, and I instantly went to that place for a moment, contraction, and then like a rubber band, I kind of, ex- I kind of like springed back and I went, wait a second. I go, she's owning it. Look at her. Fuck yes, sister. Own your shit. And I walked away my head a little taller. I was like, you know what? We all own our stuff differently. But it's that, it's that moment when we see another, another female. It's that moment we see a woman step up. It's that moment when I've spoken my truth here in the podcast and on Facebook and put myself out there. And believe me, I've had women knock me down. Look at you wearing a bikini in your picture. What kind of fucking mother are you? I'm like, what? Oh, that's such a bad reflection for your sons to see that. Like, what the fuck? And I, I can go and judge her back too. Fucking Bible thumper, stick in the mud, like, you know, and this is, listen, this is not to have a conversation and to go off. 
it's, here's what's really funny. Some of you will listen to the podcast. There'll be one little thing I'll say and you'll like expand it up and like the whole podcast was about that because you get stuck there because you have that experience. So stay open, stay with me. Stay open to what you're hearing throughout the entire episode and all the episodes for that matter. But I want you to know something. Women, we're powerful as fuck. Do you know that? Do you know that's the reason why some are very intimidated by a strong woman? There's a reason. This is the reason why people are intimidated by a woman who is like strong physically. I'm not, I shouldn't say people. Some people, some women, some men. And that's why some people too see strong women. They go, fuck yes. She stands up. She stands out. I notice her. There's something about her power. So where does that come from? That power, that intentional way of being, that way of carrying yourself. Just like that woman today was just like, I'm fucking beautiful. I could feel it from her. And I was like, fuck, yes, you are. There's power in beauty. There's power in words. There's power in being able to speak. There's power in being physical in your body. There's different ways. There's power in showing up a certain way for your children. There's a powerful way of being that we all have access to. But here's the thing, sister. You got to figure out who the fuck you are. Not who you want to be, not who you think you should look like, not how you think your legs should be or your boobs should be or your butt should be or your face should be or your skin or like all this shit or how much you should weigh on a scale. I mean, like, who are you? I am fill in the blank. Who is that? Who are you? You need to know that first. Power comes from that place. So let's make this practical. If we want to support each other, if we want to discover the power we have collectively as women, it's not about showing up for a million women's march, whatever that thing was about a year ago, like the women's march or standing up and everyone's pissed off because Trump got into, you know, got into office and blah, all this kind of stuff. It's like, listen, like, I don't care. This is not a political point. This is understanding that it's not about that. It's not about a one-day event. It's not about Women's Day every March. It's not. It's about you knowing who the fuck you are. It's about you, step number two, the sister, you knowing what you clearly want. Do you know how much simpler life becomes when you know what you want? Imagine if you went into a restaurant and you had no idea what food you'd like. You'd be looking at the menu going like, I don't know, maybe it's the steak or I don't know, maybe I'm vegetarian. Maybe I'm, oh, maybe I'll have the fish. Maybe you're like, no, I like this. I like this. I like this. I don't like that. It becomes simple. You know what you like. You know what you don't like. You're clear. So right now, all of you are often looking at the, like the whole fucking menu of life. Like, cause you don't know what it is that you want. And you're sampling, you're trying, and you're, you're like, not even trying to figure it up. You're just tasting stuff. And then you're pissed when stuff doesn't happen. We don't get the food that you want because you don't know what the hell it is. So step number one for becoming powerful in your life, which means that we are more powerfully, collectively as women. Know who you are. Step two Know what you want. Deep three, your deep why. You got to know your deep why. Why do you want what you want? Why must it happen? Why does it matter? Why is it an absolute must? What is the why that fucking moves you, excites you, keeps you up at night because you're so excited for it to happen? That's your deep why. The thing that keeps you moving. And some pieces of the deep why I've talked about recently in the sisterhood and a few other Facebook groups on the podcast is that anchor. What is that anchor? What is the story that you tell yourself to make that happen? The good story, we'll say, quote unquote. So those three pieces, sister, must happen. And I hate to break it to you. But listen, listen to the podcast and running a more tip is not going to do it. Following me or being in the sisterhood or coaching with me uh, at, at the live event that's coming up, by the way, in uh, November 6th to 8th in Victoria, BC, you need to send me a personal message or email me 
to apply. There's two weeks left. That's it. And then I cut it off. It's Dr. Karen at drkarenosborne.com. Put the link here also in the show notes. Listening to these episodes, follow me on Instagram. Like all that stuff is well and good, but it will not bring about power in your life. You know what brings about power in your life? Action. Figuring shit out. And the figuring out isn't the running run in your head. It's the opening up a journal and fucking writing. It's yes, having these experiences. It's yes, learning. But it's like, now you got to go and actually do the work. Nobody will do it for you. Nobody. Nobody. Just you, sister. You. The power we have as women to come together and create massive change. The power we have to be around other women who are like us to create this power, to create a life of more, to get clear on what you want, to know that deep why, to take action, and to create fucking legacy in your life only happens when we're around women who are like us. And you thought you were the only one who thought this way. I know, I used to think that way too. I'm like, I'm weird. I'm not like other women. I don't give a shit about some of this stuff. I give a shit about this stuff. And so I created a podcast about it, which you're listening to right now. And I realized that there's anywhere from 2,000 to 2,500 of you every single day that are raising their hand in 182 countries around the world singing, me too. It's a movement, sister. Are you in it? Are you a bystander? Are you sitting along the sidelines? Or would you like to really fucking play? Would you like to really be in this game? Would you like to see what you're capable of? So I, have a, I have a recent boxing tournament I was supposed to have fought in a week ago. I did not because there was no opponent for me. It's a tournament. People sign up or they don't sign up. There was nobody in my weight class, even close to that, or a level, which is a novice, to fight. So I didn't have a fight. But the experiencing leading up to it allowed me to see how capable I am of that. My level of power that I was at is so much fucking greater. And I realized that. And I'm at peace with the fact that I wasn't able to compete for that tournament. I want the next one. But I wasn't able to that one because I got what I need to see. Which is to realize is that power is incremental. It grows as you grow, as you grow. It expands as you expand. There is no limit to this, sister. And the power that we have as women is huge, but we must come together to do that. And it is very difficult to do this work in isolation. It is. That's why I've created the things that I have. And one of them is called the sisterhood. I created this out of seeing a need from so many of you that said, I really want to coach with you, but I don't have several thousand dollars, Karen. I can't come out to live a van. I can't. I'm like, great. Okay, okay, okay. I never wanted to have any of these kind of low-end monthly kind of thing. I'm like, I don't want it because if you don't invest the money, you won't be all in. You know what? I was so fucking wrong. So I said, fine, I'm going to test this. So I created the sisterhood. And it is a Facebook coaching program with daily sisterhood tips, weekly trainings, support, right? Being around women who are like you, sister, that want to create power in all areas of life, in their marriage, with their children, with their businesses, with their bodies. And they understand that accountability and association, who they're around, matters. And I know for a lot of you, and this might be you, You don't have a lot of women like you in your circle. You might be the anomaly. You have more crabs in your bucket than you would like to even admit to. And they're dragging you down. And it's up to you to decide whether you want to still be playing with those people or not in your life. But in the meantime, you better get around women who are like you if you want to create this power. That is the only way to make it happen. You become who you're around. If you want to become someone different, you better become like the women that you want to become. Let let me reword that. You better be around the women who you want to become like, who do you want to expand into. Powerful women. We exist. 
This message with women wanting more will be getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And you now have the opportunity to be in the sisterhood when it's still like a little bit less than 100 women. There's like 96 women in there right now. And it's incredible. Here's the piece that I was so wrong about. These women, majority of these women that are in there are doing the fucking work, are getting results, are seeing changes. I was so wrong. That at 47 bucks a month, that these women will not do the work because they are. They're taking it seriously. So if you are not in the sisterhood yet, sister, you are missing out. I'm going to invite you to join us there for the next seven days for free. My gift. Try it for free. And see really what it's all about. That power, you can create it on your own. You could. You could do every single more tip. You could follow things that I talk about on Facebook. All of it. But it's very difficult to do it alone. I cannot. I will always have a coach in my corner. Several coaches often. Boxing coach. I'm thinking of hiring a swim coach. I want to get in the pool. Mindset slash business slash personal life coach. So here's your chance to really get that, sister. Here's your chance to have access to me as your powerful coach around women who are like you. And you get to try it for free for the next seven days. And then after that, it's like 47 a month. It's nothing. I just came back from Starbucks. Venti chai with, I get it with uh, liquid whipping cream, heavy cream. It's like five and a half bucks. This is less than the price of half of a Starbucks latte every single day. You are worth it, sister. So here's what I want you to do as your more tip. Join the sisterhood. Invest in you. It's fucking time. So do this right now. Go to drkarenosburn.com, D-R-K-A-R-E-N-O-S-B-U-R-N.com slash sisterhood. And you can sign up for your seven-day free trial today. See all the different stories of women that are in the sisterhood and all the incredible results they've already created and experienced within their life. So that's again at drkarenosman.com slash sisterhood. And I will see you there live every single week for the weekly live Facebook trainings. So I will talk to the next episode, sister. A life of more is one step away from you doing the fucking work every single day. I'll see you in the sisterhood and I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the how to get more tip. Subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com slash newsletter.